Well, I represent 14 counties here in North Carolina. Some of those are rural and others are urban. Herford County is a rural community. In rural communities, there are advantages and disadvantages. Uh, one advantage is that uh, uh, people know each other and they care and care for and take care of each other. But the challenges we face in rural communities uh, consist of uh, the inability to access high-speed internet service, which means that businesses are not able to have access to the internet and, and, and able to advertise their goods and services online. And, and so the economy suffers as well as the individual. The internet, to me, is um, it, it's not the future anymore, it's the now, it's the present. At Riley, we have one internet provider, and I do a lot of my business on the internet. Where we're at, where we're situated, right here in town, we've got good access to that. But where we struggle is out in the rural areas, just a couple of miles away from town. And it needs to be accessible everywhere. Um, in rural North Carolina, which is where we are, not everyone has it. I think what our elected officials need to realize is it's important for every person to have internet access in their home because that's how we conduct business now. I believe people come to the library to use the internet for lots of different reasons. I know that people do job searches, they do job applications, they do genealogy research, they utilize social media. We even have people that come and watch TV shows. So it's a very integral part of our community. We use the internet in these ways. We do a lot of pictures on Facebook about specials and posting and our special events that we have here. We have music on the patio during the summer months and, and uh, we get a lot of feedback and a lot of ideas and suggestions. And we're going into a new direction with the internet as far as being able to take online orders. And at that point in time, that we'll, you'll be able to get on your iPhone and just key in what you would like here at the tavern. And it'll be specific places that we'll start with, but we'll start delivering lunches. People tend to be very visual. They want to see videos. They want to see photographs. They want to feel like they're on a tour through the property. And I think if we do a good job of getting that out there to the public, it makes them more inclined to come see our town to see the properties. We've had people come from all corners of the world to buy property in Murfreesboro just because they've seen it on the internet. Uh, this town actually is fortunate uh, as compared to others in this region because there is a broadband accessibility in Murfreesboro, uh, but it's not uh, at the level that, that it needs to be. So my challenge is to go back to Washington and continue to advocate uh, for universal broadband coverage nationwide. Uh, that's an investment that we must make. We must invest in rural broadband in every nook and cranny of our great country.